Hey everyone, so my Halloween costumes are usually very extra. It started about six years ago when I got hired at my current company. They host a Halloween party uh, every single year and they have a staff costume contest. I thought, hey, that sounds like a lot of fun, a great competition between co-workers, I'm a creative person, and there just happens to be prize money too. I'm gonna list all the costumes I've created in the past six years, and I want you guys to rate each of the costumes in the comments down below. So zero if it's complete garbage, and 10 if it's freaking cool. Just to let you guys know, I have no background in creating any sort of costumes or cosplay. I can't sew or anything like that. You know how there's those professionals, people that can build stuff, you know, using nails and screws and stuff like that. And then there's those other people that kind of uses duct tape. I'm the latter. In the description, I put down timestamps if you want to jump to a particular costume, if you want to know how I made it. Let's jump into the costumes. The first year, I went a little bit nerdy. I was the blue screen of death is when a Windows computer goes through a fatal system error. So the monitor will go all blue and a error message will pop up on the screen. So I went down to my basement and I found that my family still had a really old school Dell computer monitor. You know, those really big fat ones, not like those flat screen uh, ones we have now. So much muscle power went into trying to pry open that computer monitor. I was a little afraid of being shocked because I had researched prior that a computer monitor can still maintain its charge many years after it's not been in use. So I'm just wearing safety gloves and just pulling computer parts out of that monitor. After it was all gutted, it was so much lighter, but it was still heavy with the screen. So I took that out and replaced it with Pexi glass. So now I had to come up with a way to make the screen completely blue. The thing I ended up going with, I feel like that wasn't the best option. I just grabbed blue fabric, measured it at the size, and taped it on from the inside. Now, when I had the computer monitor on, I couldn't see too well out of it unless it was in a really lit room. But of course, with it being a Halloween party, it was really dark. So majority of the time, I just always had to stand in one place. The funny thing is when people wanted to take pictures with me, I couldn't tell when the, the picture was taken or not, or if they had walked away after or not, because I have this huge container in my head that completely cancels all sort of noise. So all I'm hearing is like muffling. And to make it super simple, I just printed off the error message in blue and just taped it onto the monitor. So I had an old Grim Reaper costume from many years ago. I wore that at the bottom half. I had the scythe and there you go. It's a blue screen of death. The second year, I went as a genie on a magic carpet. Hands down, this was the best costume I think I've ever made. It got the most attention and it got the most love. I found an old carpet that my family does not use anymore and I cut a hole right in the middle so I could fit right in and I had to fixate it to something stiff or else the carpet can't you know, support itself. So I affixed it to cardboard. Then I added two pieces of wood at the very bottom in order for me if I needed to attach any hangers or clips onto it for, to the carpet to me. Next, I got chicken wire and kind of bent it and formed it kind of along the carpet. Probably the most dangerous part of the costume was the chicken wire because it can easily cut you. I got a bag of polyester because it looks a lot like clouds and kind of fluffed it around the chicken wire, kind of weaving it in and out so it kind of stay in place. And then I think I got some like a fishing line because I know it's really sturdy and really thin and just also kind of weaved it in and out of the chicken wire and the polyester so the polyester wouldn't like fly away. I bought some cheap battery powder lights and kind of uh, added that also around the polyester and chicken wire. I found a cheap lamp on eBay so I hot glued gun that down to the carpet. I got three clips so I think I attached two to the wood pieces, one to the back of me and then I attached that onto a belt so it kind of like hang in place. I also got black fabric. I draped it uh, on the bottom of the carpet in order to hide my legs in order to give the illusion that it's floating. Now with the carpet all finally finished it was time for the genie part. So I got a bald cap and I used spirit gum to affixate it to my skin. Then I got paint to the color of sort of my skin and the bald cap and you just kind of blend it in so you don't really see uh, where the bald cap and my skin kind of meet. You want it to look kind of seamless. Then you just paint yourself all blue. It also makes you look more like a genie when you add random white patterns on you. 
gives it kind of like that mystical look. To prep for this costume too, I went hard at the gym, I think for like three weeks. So a lot of people there I fooled because they thought I was wearing like a muscle shirt when really I was just shirtless. I found a Cleopatra costume and used pieces of it. So the design for the neck piece and the cufflinks. Luckily, my earrings are already pierced, so I just had to find a large hoop earring. I think lastly, I just needed the mustache, the goatee, and that little braided hair that the genie has on top of its head. So spirit gum that on to you and you're done. Definitely my favorite costume. The third year, I went as an alien on a spaceship. For my spaceship, I grabbed some PVC pipe I created a little uh, circle for the top half so I can kind of peek my head out of a circle for the bottom half for like a good solid base and kind of connected them with PVC pipe. The little connectors, I'm not sure what they're called. But I just went to my local home hardware store and just found that PVC pipe fit nicely in there. So I just used that. I went to the dollar store and grabbed some foam board. Foam board is my favorite thing to use in costumes because it's quite sturdy for such a flimsy material and it's super easy to cut. So I cut the foam boards into little trapezoids and laid them uh, around the spaceship. To keep them in place, I used a lot of tape inside. Then I spray painted the outside in silver. I then cut out many of these circles and kind of glued them all together in order to create like a strong base for the top where the dome sits. Then I got a large piece of plastic and cut triangles at the very top. And then when you tape it together, you kind of got like this giant crown sort of thing, but that's not what it's used for. With the triangles, you meet them all together at the very point. So you have now kind of this dome sort of shape. And then you just tape that all together. I think I added a little piece of wood and a little styrofoam ball, uh, spray painted that silver and it looked like your spaceship has like a little antenna thing going on. So I got a few bolts super glued it to the bottom of the spaceship and I got LED uh, battery powered lights to add also at the bottom of the spaceship. I think it also change colors and do all this cool thing like flickers red, blue, green. Gives that UFO effect. And now for the alien mask. I haven't done paper mache probably since uh, elementary school. So it was fun to revisit that again. Now making the paste is super easy. You get one cup of flour, one cup of water and you mix it until you get that like pasty consistency. Uh, I know I had troubles because mine wasn't super sticky and I know uh, other people have that problems too. So I grabbed some Elmer's glue and you just add that to the paste. So now you have that really sticky consistency. So now all you have to do is blow up a balloon to the size of your head, grab strips of newspaper, put it through the paste and just layer it onto the balloon. So after you get the first layer and it dries, you just do the exact same thing over again. I think I did six layers in total. Now the fun part is popping that balloon and cutting a little hole in the back of the mask in order for your head to fit in. So in the front, I cut it up little eyes and I got uh, two sunglasses lens and it looked kind of like alien-ish and it had that green kind of tint to it, which was perfect. And then I paper mache that onto the mask. And finally, a little finishing touches. I added uh, little horns at the top of the alien mask and a little slit uh, along the mouthpiece in order for me to breathe. Lastly, you get some red, orange, and yellow fabric and you, you cut it in the shapes of flames. You glue that onto pants with fabric glue and it kind of gives that spaceship a look like, you know, that flames are coming out as it's flying. It's, it's pretty cool. It gives it that illusion. The fourth year, I went as the power loader from the movie Aliens. Definitely the hardest costume I've ever built. So I started getting two buckets from Home Depot, flipped them upside down and cut two slits on each bucket in order for me to put a buckle through it so my feet can just slide in. I bought a lot of foam board. This costume is probably made up of like 99% foam board. And you just sort of cut out mechanically kind of looking shapes. There was definitely a lot of uh, me looking at the Aliens movie and kind of referencing what theirs look like to what mine should look like. So I made two legs, two arms, and one torso. So I made the arms bendable by adding PVC pipe through it and then just uh, locking it together. I also joined the arms to the torso also using PVC pipe. 
I also got a cheap backpack and put that on the inside of the torso and then just ran the straps through it in order for me to, to kind of like slip it on. And the two legs are just kind of separate on their own. Uh, the handles that I used to move the arms were actually I think from a skipping rope. So I just kind of cut the ends of the skipping rope so I have those handles and just super glued them on to the arms. I also used some PVC pipe and attached that to the torso to make it look like a sort of cage-like thing. I spray painted everything in yellow and also added random black uh, lines in order to give that industrial look. Final touch is I bought this little light to put at the very top of the costume. Uh, I couldn't find a beacon light in time so I had to improvise. This costume got a lot of praise and anywhere I go people just turn their heads but it was so stupid to walk in it. It's really hard to explain how to make it because I, I didn't really have enough to go off of. It's just a lot of foam board and cutting out and kind of a lot of trial and error. Sometimes the pieces were like too small or I didn't measure so they didn't match or sometimes it was too large. It was just a lot of experimenting and time. The fifth year, I went as Rose and Jack on the Titanic. Luckily, a little bit easier to do, still a lot of time. Once again, we use foam board, which is your best friend. So you kind of cut pieces to make it look like kind of sort of like a house. Uh, on the sides, I painted, you know, little circles to make it look like little windows. You just try to make the sides look like the Titanic. And then I uh, fixated onto a skateboard, which was super fun because I just could just glide across the venue to feel like I was sailing on a ship. So I used the tubes from paper towels. I kind of cut them to make them look like the stacks on top of the ship. In order to cover the top, I just used bottle caps. So I super glued that on, I painted that all white. I got a clothes hanger, poked them through the paper towels so that the clothes hanger kind of looks like little mini railings. I went to a secondhand clothing store and luckily I found a dress that one, fits me, and two, it looked a lot like the dress Rose wore. Then I found two blazers, one for me and one for Jack. I needed to find the necklace, which was almost impossible. No one had like this blue colored necklace looking for cheap. Like, mind you, I'm not gonna go out and buy an expensive necklace. So luckily I found one at Walmart, but it wasn't a necklace, it was an earring. So I kind of bent it in shape to make it look sort of like a necklace. I also grabbed a cheap bra at Walmart, got a red wig at a Halloween store, and now with Jack's blazer, I stuffed it with newspaper. I got a clothes hanger to give him kind of like a skeleton so the body wasn't like all flimsy, and just printed off Leonardo DiCaprio's face, attached that to the blazer. That one was a lot of fun because I kept redoing that scene where, you know, Rose and uh, Jack are the Titanic, and Rose goes, look Jack, I'm flying. Just going across the venue with, you know, my arms sort of like this uh, on a skateboard. So that one was a lot of fun. This year, I wanted to go super simple. Every single costume I spent many weeks and hours every single day, either prepping or building the costume. This time, I wanted something that I can just build in one day. So I went as Inspector Gadget, a classic cartoon that I watched a lot in the 90s. First thing is to find a gray fedora. Cut two holes on the side. Next, I found a cheap battery-powered beacon from Amazon. I kind of wish I had that for the power loader to give it more of that legit look. So I hot glued gun that to the fedora. Next, I went to the doll store specifically looking for a tube-like shape. I kind of lucked out for this one because this one was for like some sort of large balloon creation that you you make. I, I have no idea what it is, but it just happened to be the shape what I needed. So I got a coat hanger and bent it out of shape, ran it through the plastic tube, ran it through a styrofoam ball, and then again ran it through another plastic tube. Kind of to give it that uh, mechanical look. So I painted all of that in silver. I grabbed a set of yellow plastic kitchen gloves at the dollar store. I stuffed it with a lot of grocery bags that I had. Next, I needed to find a badge, which you could find at the dollar store. Usually they come in sort of uh, a kid's toy set for like a police officer or the detective. I then photoshopped a little Inspector Gadget ID. I'm gonna place that inside there. Next, I wanted to find a really light magnifying glass. I know you can find ones at the dollar store, but they're kind of a little bit heavy. So I lucked out. I, I'm, I'm always lucking out for some reason. And I went to a Halloween store and they had one for only a quarter. So it was funny when I went to the cashier because she was also shocked. She says that comes up to 
25 cents? And I'm like, I am just as shocked as you are. So I got the badge and the magnifying glass and you kind of super glue them onto the gloves. So then I bought some cheap black lover gloves at the dollar store. Uh, I kind of wish they were brown because I think that's what Inspector Gadget uses, but I just went with black because it was close enough. I got some black wire, kind of twirled it around to make it look like a telephone antenna. One of his gadgets is his phone is part of his hand. I didn't want to buy a gray trench coat even if it was used because it's a little pricey i didn't want to spend that much money on it so i just used my regular fall jacket and it looked it looks kind of similar and then all the inspector gadget wears underneath that is just a white dress shirt a blue tie blue jeans and black shoes and your inspector gadget the hat wouldn't stay on too well because it was a, just a tiny bit front heavy which i i try to make it as light as possible so I grabbed a toque, I put that on, so it kind of helps make the fedora fit in more snugly. I love this one because this one was uh, super easy. I can make it in one day, and it still has that wow factor for its simplicity. Uh, if you managed to watch this entire video, yeah, bravo for you because it is long. But yeah, how would you rate each of the costumes from zero to 10? So we got the blue screen of death, Genie on a magic carpet, Alien in a spaceship, The Power Loader from the movie Aliens, Jack and Rose from the Titanic, and Inspector Gadget. I'm also curious what your guys' best costume you've ever wore or you ever made yourself. Doesn't matter if you're young or adult, I just want to hear what you guys dressed up as. Anyways, if you guys like this video and you want to show me some a little bit of love, uh, don't forget to uh, give this video a like. Don't forget to click that bell notification so you guys know when uh, I come up with a new video. And I'll see you guys later.